of wildlife in our country. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, sir, for giving me this opportunity to comment upon the bill, namely the Wildlife Protection Amendment Bill 2021. Sir, way back in 1972, the parent bill, Wildlife Protection Act, came into existence for three comprehensive reasons. One is for protection of wildlife, management of habitat, its habitats, and the regulation and trade of animals. After 72, in the year 73 and 79, by virtue of the International Convention on Trade and Endangered Species of Wildlife, Fauna and Flora, party countries like India were pushed to enact some amendments in their respective laws. Accordingly, the Honorable Minister is bringing this law before this, bringing this bill before the Parliament. Sir, the attempt that has been made by the Honorable Minister is honest, commendable, and laudable. In his personal capacity, I know he is a learned man, his provostness cannot be questioned. Collectively, the government measures are still making so many question marks whether the deliverance is going to be happened or not. Sir, let us weigh the attempt that has been made by the government holistically, irrespective of the measures individually done by the Honorable Minister by way of this piloting bill. Sir, I want to address only a few things on legal issues and the role of the states. During your speech, Honorable Minister, you are solely relying upon the convention, which was held in 79 and 73, in order to bring the provisions of the convention, as a signatory to the convention, you want to bring this law. But forest is being maintained by the state. You are bringing a major amendment, a new chapter that has been brought in, chapter 5B. Through this chapter, you want to give you two new measures. One is structural changes in the system. The another is a regulatory mechanism. Coming to the structural issue, by inserting a new sections 49D, 49G, 49F, 49G, two authorities are going to be constituted newly. Sir, the act itself, there is a national board for wildlife, headed by Prime Minister, Vice Chair Minister, Honorable Minister. Similarly, you constitute the state board. During the period of my tenure, we created the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau, where my leader, Mr. T. R. Balu, was the minister. He initiated by the national forest policy. It was completed during my tenure. These two measures are very significant measures in the department to address all these issues, irrespective of this piece of class legislations. Sir, coming to the Act, when you are injecting a new provision in the name of new chapter, there will be a management authority. In addition to the National Board, in addition to the State Board, where the Chief Minister, where the Prime Minister, all, all are members, it is working properly. But you want to create a management authority once. Then, under the management authority, who is the additional DG of the forest? who will be head the authority. Then you are creating a new body, scientific authority. What is the role of scientific authority? The scientific authorities are private peoples. Maybe NGOs are experts. I do agree with your intention. But this advisory body, authority, scientific authority, will advise the management authority. In turn, this management authority, everything working under the statutory body, namely the National Wildlife Board and State Board. Sir, when you are creating the new authorities, two authorities, since the forest is being maintained by the state, is it not your duty to bring the role of state government at least in the name of the district forest officer? No role at all. You want to satisfy the convention of the international trade. But where is your range officer? Where is your DFO? Where is your principal champion? Ignore ministry. So, more, some of the ministers may not be in line with the, with the political color. But government is government. 
and now you are creating two segregations either schedule 1 2 3 4 now animals are separate among the animals you divide into two then the grass then the vegetables i think that it is not in the line of religion at least i satisfy <laughs> there is no saffron color for this bill but in spite in spite of that it has been divided please surprise me what is the role of the National Management Authority and Scientific Authority. Sir, coming to the regulatory mission, uh, I, I want to mention one more thing. When you are creating two bodies under this Act, in order to satisfy the international community, let me know, according to my source, after 2014, National Board for Wildlife, National Board for Wildlife, which was headed with the Prime Minister, where you are sitting as a vice chairman, has not been convened yes, yes, ever sir. since for 1914. Correct. 2014 last meeting conducted. It has to be conducted every year. 2014, we are 2022. Almost eight years, you did not bother about the wildlife at all. Suddenly you are bringing this act, saying that we want, we want two more committees. The numerical strength of the committees will not give you any remedy when you are sitting without any action, I mean inaction. So, what is the role of the state government? Then coming to the classification of the animals to protect them and penal provisions. Sir, now the regulatory measures. The existing act says Central government can issue notification declaring a species as vermin so long as the species is not listed in Schedule 1 or Part 2 of Schedule 2. Now you shifted to Schedule 2, it can be declared as vermin. A major decision is going to be taken by the government by virtue of this Act. So you are classifying this is vermin, this is not vermin by virtue of this classification. Whether this decision was taken after the due consultation of the state government. How can you say whether it is vermin or not? Unless and until the state government comments are being taken into consideration. Even the object and reasons, it is completely silent. It will be very dangerous. When you are declaring it as a species vermin without the consent of the state government, what will be the proliferation of one species or destroy of one, one species? This is very dangerous. Uh, provision we have to reconsider. Sir, uh, what type of coordination? Sir, next, next point is coming to the 62A, 62A, 62B. The central government may, by notification, regulate, prohibit, and import, import, trade, possession, or proliferation of invasive alien species. Invasive alien species which pose a threat to the wildlife or habitat in India. So you are having right to give direction, you are, you are, right, you are having right to regulate, prohibit, import, trade, possession, proliferation, with regard to what? Invasive alien species, whether there is a class with the domestic invasive species or alien invasive species, whether study has been conducted or not, Without a valid and scientific biological study, how omnipotent power can be conferred with the central government through this act without the state government? Again, sister to be, notwithstanding any provision in this act, central government may call for any information or report from the state government or any other such agency to issue direction to a state government. So, you are making the law yourselves without consent of the state, but thereafter, having enacted, you are going to receive the information with the state. What is this? Before tying the cattle, you have to do everything. Without cattle, you are doing everything and you want to bring the cattle. It will not work. So, what I am telling is, with due respect to the government and honorable minister, your attempt is honest, but this attempt will not give any legitimacy, productivity. It is going to fail. That is why I am telling, the government really wanted to fulfill the commitment of the convention provisions. At least pay your attention to fill up these gaps when you are making the rules 
or delegate the powers to the states, how it can be coordinated with this act. Unless and until this was done, this act is going to be filed. Poor home exercise which was done by the ministry, I respect you, I respect your knowledge, in spite of that very poor exercise that has been done by the government, it cannot be accepted. Please revisit the bill. Thank you. இன்னும் வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்தா ப்ளீஸ் லைக் அண்ட் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க மறக்காம எங்க சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைபும் பண்ணுங்க